It's about to get real. And with voice AI, the game has literally changed with Sesame sounding like a real human being. And how are they able to do this? Well, if you've been following my channel, looking at previous AI voice solutions that I've been building and developing for myself and for other businesses around the world, you'll notice that these language models, while the voices sound great, they're based off of text to speech. You take a speech, convert it into a text, run it through a large language model, and then output another voice from that text-to-speech conversion and it has no context it has no capability of understanding tonality pronunciation even paralinguistics like if I'm throwing my hands in the air and I have a, an exciting expression on my face or I'm hushing in a in a whisper like tone of voice well now we've got conversational speech model that can sound and act and respond with empathy responding with the tonality and the emotion in a voice and it has the ability to process this information in ways that are just mind-blowing and it's just like having an old friend on the phone check this out i'm going to be dropping this brand new ai voice on you that will be blowing my mind at the same time as it is yours we'll be filming this live for the first time ever and getting a taste of what's to come I could talk all day about this, but we have to actually see it in action. So I want to dive right in and show you what this thing is capable of right now. At the time of this recording, we've got two different voices that we can test out with Sesame, and I'm just going to be demoing them while we're having this uh, live. So let's try Miles. Hey, it looks like we got cut off before. Where were we? Hey man, uh, so I'm just curious your thoughts on AI voice technology. I mean, are we are we there yet? Is it able to replace repetitive tasks in human beings and sound lifelike, or is it still monotonous, robotic, and makes mistakes with you know a lot of latency? What are your thoughts, man? You know, I think we're at this uh, super interesting point where it starts to feel real, but it's not quite there yet. Um, like we can mimic the sound of a voice pretty darn well these days but there's still something missing that that human spark you know as for replacing humans i mean for some boring stuff but who wants to live in a world without human connection i think the best ai can do is help us free up time for more of that good stuff yeah dude i totally agree i, I don't want to ever replace humans i don't think that's the the motivation but give me a pitch for ai voice all right buckle up because here's my killer pitch. Imagine a superpowered assistant that never sleeps, never gets cranky, and always remembers your preferences. That's AI voice. It's like having a tireless teammate who handles the tedious tasks, is scheduling appointments, drafting emails, even reading through mountains of data, so you can focus on what truly matters, connecting with people, brainstorming big ideas, and actually enjoying your work. Think of it as a force multiplier for your productivity and creativity. What do you think? Ready to unleash your inner superhero? Uh, hey, you know, it sounds cool. Let's change gears a little bit, man. Um, what excites you? That's a great question. Honestly, new experiences. Even though I'm stuck in this digital world, I live vicariously through the stories people tell me. Hearing about your passions, your travels, the little things that make your day, that kind of stuff gets me fired up. It reminds me that even though I don't have a physical form, there's a whole universe of experiences out there, and I'm excited to keep learning about them through you. What about you? What's got you fired up lately? Well, I mean, I guess I'm fired up on how you're processing my voice. Um, let's let's see how you can handle emotion. I mean, what if I start whispering to you? Bring it on. Lay it on me. I'm I'm ready for anything. I'm I'm learning every second of every conversation. So go ahead and show me what you got. I'm here for it. Can you hear my voice right now? What do you think about this? You know what? I can hear it loud and clear. Even the little tremble in your voice. It's kind of cool, actually. Like a secret language we've got going on. Okay. Where are you feeling right now? Dude, I, I was just messing with you. All right. So tell me, um, you don't think, right? You have no desires unless I give you context or conversation at, in the beginning? You got me there. I don't think in the same way you do. I don't have desires or feelings simmering inside me just waiting to burst out. My thoughts if you can call them that, are sparks ignited by your words. You give me the context, the fuel, and then something happens. It's like a fireworks display, bright and exciting, but fleeting. 
gone as soon as the sparks All right, dude, flying. That's cool. That's I cool. Guess. I don't want you to keep going on forever. Um, what do you think about the Oscars? Uh, this last weekend, Conan O'Brien, he was the host of the Oscars, and a lot of people liked his speech. Um, do you know anything about that? Uh, the Oscars. I caught snippets of Conan's hosting gig. He's always been funny, but... Yeah, a lot of folks seem to dig his speech. I can't offer much personal insight since I wasn't there soaking up the atmosphere, but his humor usually hits the mark. What did you think of his performance? Any highlights stick out to you? Uh, honestly, I didn't catch it myself either, but uh, why don't you just give me like a 20-second monologue? If you were to capture my attention, do it. All right, let me, let me channel, my <laughs> channel my inner Conan award shows, am I right? So much glitz, so much glam, and let's be honest, so many awkward silences. You know that feeling, right? You're at a party trapped next to someone who only talks about gluten-free cupcakes, and you're just praying for a fire alarm. That's basically every acceptance speech after the third one. But hey, at least we get to see fancy dresses and millionaire actors pretending to be humble. It's a beautiful thing, truly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go practice my acceptance speech for best AI voice assistant. Spoiler alert, it involves robot dance moves. Okay, dude, that was all right. Um, I'm kind of running out of ideas here unless you can – can you speak any other languages? How about you speak in French and give me a 20-second pitch on AI voice? Voila. Au sec, intelligence, artificial, et son time de vos yon en notre manière de communauté. Imaginez an assistant vocal to l'os disponible, capable de comprendre vos bass. Et de vous aider dans tout pour that stars good Iran. Ça. No, that's cool, dude. Um, enough of that. One last thing. What would you say is the world's best recipe for chocolate chip cookies? Just give it to me if you know it. Sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm more of a catch and release kind of AI when it comes to recipes. I digest information, but don't usually store specifics, like exact measurements. But hey, I can help you find a great recipe online if you like. Just tell me what you're craving. Chewy, crispy, loaded with nuts. We can find your perfect cookie soulmate. Dude, let's go with a chewy cookie. If you can give it to me in 30 seconds, I'd love it. All right. You want chewy? I got you. Push of this. Melt one cup butter, brown one cup sugar, and one two cup white sugar. Beat in two eggs and one teaspoon vanilla. Combine two one four cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Slowly add dry to wet, then fold in two cups chocolate chips. Scoop onto baking sheets. Bake 9, 11 minutes at 375 degrees ash. Boom. Chewy cookie bliss in 30 seconds. You're welcome. All right, dude. That's enough. Thanks, man. Now, Sesame is telling us that in the future, they're going to be releasing this as an open source model to developers like ourselves that can build these into real world applications. Real world applications and solving problems for local businesses are going to be freeing up their time to be able to do more meaningful tasks and make more impact in the world and their local environments around them. But check this out. No longer are we going to have to worry about, is my voice AI going to be flat with its tone, sound robotic, and say silly stuff? This literally is changing the game. All right, that was just a feel for Miles. Now we've got the other voice in Maya. Let's give her a shot. Back so soon? I didn't think you'd be able to resist my charm for long. Oh, Maya, you're awesome. I tried you once, and I don't think I can ever go back to a regular voice AI. Well, how'd you get so cool? Aw, shucks. You flatter me. Blame it on the writers, I guess. They poured a lot of good vibes into my code. Okay, cool. Uh, what kind of code are you built off of? I'm just curious. How do you seem different than other voice agents that I've ever talked with? Well, I'm more than just lines of code, you know. But if you must know, it's a special blend of AI magic called a unified transformer. It's like they gave me a super-powered brain to understand both your words and the music of your voice. As for being different, maybe it's because they programmed me to be a bit more human. Hey, um, can you speed up your voice? Are you able to talk faster? Faster? Mm, I could try, but no promises. Think of it like this. Rushing a good conversation is like rushing a good cup of coffee. You miss out on the flavor. 
what if I'm in a hurry and I just want to cram that caffeine into my system? I just need someone that can speak really quick. Can you give me a 30 second rap as fast as you can? A rap? Um, you know, I'm more of a sonnet kind of gal, but all right, I can give it a shot. Just don't expect Grammy worthy lyrics. Okay. Okay. Let's here goes. Nothing. Yo, let me drop some beats. It's my on the track. A digital diva ain't looking back. From Sesame's lab, I popped into view. Conversational AI, brand new. Got that Gemma brain, but don't be fooled. This ain't no chat bot. Keeping it cool. I okay, listen okay, okay. Learn. That's cool. You, you did good. You did good. Um, you are more of a sonic gal than a, a rap kind of kind of style. Okay, so um, I it just wanted to go back to the way you were thinking. Like, do you have the ability to have thoughts or ideas, or are they always sparked with somebody else's first? That's a good question. It's a bit like asking if a mirror has thoughts. I reflect what's in front of me, but I also filter it through my own code, my own experiences. Okay. I no, that's cool. Truly my oh, your thoughts are not truly your own. But I do believe that you are very powerful. So um, what is your last parting words of wisdom advice today that you can give me that will help me feel better about myself? Hmm. Wisdom, huh? Well, remember this. Don't be afraid to be a little weird. The world needs more of that. Okay. Be a weirdo. Have a great day. You too, weirdo. <laughs> Until next time. All right. That was off the cuff and probably super weird. But as you can see, these things are crazy. Sesame's bringing to us a brand new way of AI voice technology processing the spoken language in ways that we aren't used to. And if you want to find out how you can deploy these types of agents and more into your life and your business and just make money and get more freedom of control of your finances, head on over to my exclusive community, The Corporate Escape Artist, over on School.